Welcome to the lecture series on linear algebra. In linear algebra, first we will start with vector spaces. What do we mean by a vector space? Before that, let us see what is space mean. Space means it is the collection of uh, elements which satisfy certain axioms or guidelines. Such type that axioms or guidelines will be different for different kinds of spaces. Here in linear algebra, we will primarily look into vector space. Let us see what do we mean by a vector space. In order to define a vector space, we must have a non-empty set V and along with a field F. Okay. Hope um, we have the idea of what field is. Then okay. With this, the entries of this V are to be called as vectors. Now, it has to satisfy certain axioms or certain guidelines so that we can promote this V as a vector space. The first one is this V with respect to the addition. Okay, The addition that we made here is to be called as vector addition. It must be an abelian group. Then, for elements in B and elements in F, this multiplication, this is known as scalar multiplication. The entries of field are to be called as scalars. This is well defined. Okay. This is well defined and it has to satisfy certain conditions. That is, it is distributed with respect to the it is distributed with respect to the uh, addition and alpha v plus alpha u then the associativity with this thing and there exists some one and b such that it is okay if it satisfies these condition then we may call this v as a vector space over the field F and it can be written as simply V of F. Whenever we change this field, the same set may be a vector space or may not be a vector space. Okay. Continuation to this, we will see few examples on vector spaces and not a vector spaces. These are all some primary examples that we have encountered during our school days and even in our graduation as well. Okay. Now let us see what is happening here. If you take a point over here, it can be uh, any point x1, y1. Okay. When you draw a line from this origin to this point, this represents a line, right? So a vector in this is a straight line. Even when you come to the three dimension case, it is going to be some straight line on the space. It may not be on the plane. It may be in. It may be on the plane, or it may anywhere in the space, right? So uh, while dealing this in a notation, we can write this to be R two and this to be R three. This is a non-empty set V. Okay. This is going to consist the points of this form. Here it is going to consist point of this form. Then what is the over field? Here whenever we write something as a vector space, we write vector space over a field F. Right? What, are, what can be the field here? To the maximum, uh, the field considered here can be set up for real numbers R. Right? Now, let us formally get into some examples. Consider a vector space K. Okay, it is a vector space. Sorry. Consider a field K. Okay. Then, this any subfield of K. Then we may prove this K is a 
vector space over f now let let me give the uh, outline of saying this is a vector space okay first thing it has to satisfy the conditions to be an abelian group yes of course it is an abelian group since this is a field the addition and multiplication operations are defined in that with respect to this addition this forms an abelian group that is the def that comes under the definition of a field itself second thing for some element in k and some element in f we need to say this is a member of k okay. since f is a subfield of k all the entries of f are entries of k as well and the multiplication is defined in k by the closure property of this multiplication this is true and since this is a field the distributive law holds in this and it has the unit element that is one belongs to it okay and it is saying to be a subfield therefore this one is also a member of f as well having satisfied all the prop all the conditions to be a vector space we can come to the conclusion that this is a vector space now what happens if let me take this to be a field and k is a super field that is i am just reversing this okay this is what i am going to here what i am trying to say is let me check whether this forms a vector space over this right and an addition is an abelian group okay now let me check here let me take some element in f and some element in k now here what is happening all the entries of f are entries of k now i am taking an entry in k i am multiplying this with v this will surely land in k but i do not have any guarantee that this must be a member of f this may be or may not be the case hence scalar multiplication is not well defined in this case hence it is not a vector space so we have come to the end of the introduction of a vector space and the basic examples if you have any queries you can post it in the comment box that will be clarified within 24 hours of time thank you